All right, here's uh, box two of brand new uh, 2010 contenders. Already opened one. Not going to say what I got, so you'll have to just watch the other video. And unfortunately, they are mind-numbingly long because these things have 24 packs in them, and they don't like to open very easily. And the boxes have gotten progressively cheaper over the years, and we got a flimsy cardboard. We used to have that uh, cardboard stock way back. Anyway, I'll take an extra autograph. They say there's five instead of four now, so they can put it in a cheap-ass cardboard box all year. I'll take the extra autograph. All right. We got oh, auto first pack again. Uh, Chris Cook for the Vikings. And once again, as usual, this product is one of those that uh, Chris Cook might be the most printed autograph in the set. Who has any freaking clue right now? Um, <laughs> so just about anything can be a big money card. Michael Irvin. 30 to 13 destruction of the Buffalo Bills in uh, Super Bowl 28. Base. This one is one of the draft class inserts of Trent Williams and Russell Okung for the Seahawks. We got another Michael Irvin, Legendary Contenders. That's great. They use the same picture for everything, apparently. That's uh, just same picture. That's quality right there. said it in the other one, I'll say it in this one. Why the hell they didn't use these as autograph cards makes zero sense to me. I'd fade the bottom of that and use these. They'd be uh, perfect, but, you know, why do something that looks like it's uh, had some time put into designing the style of it when you can just slap foil all over it. Uh, this thing is a Rob Gronkowski rookie roll call, and it's a serial numbered parallel 27 of 50. Draft class of Dama Kung Su and Javid Best. <clears throat> we got Ed Tutal Jones. Super Bowl ticket from 10, 11, 12, 12, Super Bowl 12. Got an Armani Edwards. That's an on card. No sticker there. Wide receiver for the uh, Panthers. And like I said the last time, these look really nice this year. They are not smudged. They've uh, gotten a much better result than they did last year with the smudging, bubbling, and pretty much who knows what those autographs are going to look on those cards look like in a couple years. They already look terrible right now. Well, that's probably pretty good. I'm imagine. So I need to go back through my other box right now. That's. I'm pretty sure these are some of the very first cards for that Danny Woodhead, um, running back for the Patriots, who actually had a pretty good year. So there's only his first. I think they had something that was funny. They sent him into a uh, sports sports uh, sporting goods store or something, and had him like selling his own jerseys, and people had no idea who the hell he was. It was pretty funny. Far for the Packers. Insert. I can't remember what that was on. I'm pretty sure it was on ESPN. You got Marty Gilliard, Rookie of the Year contenders. Again, apologize for the uh, boredom of watching 24 packs. But it's the way they've been doing it for over 10 years. 
Another draft class, Spiller and Ryan Matthews. <clears throat> All right, Montana, Super Bowl tickets. I imagine this is going to be a nice set to build with the autographs. Um, they didn't, I know, I only have to watch the other box. I did hit one, I won't say who, but it's not numbered. And they are pretty nice looking cards. And I imagine that would be a really nice set to have uh, autographed, judging by the uh, players that I've pulled so far. Looks like another autograph. We got Tony Maoki. What do you know? He shows up on everything for me. Sticker autograph on that one. Rookie tight end for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. This is a Mark Mariani Rookie of the Year contenders. Another guy I don't think has very many rookies. I think he, uh, my apologies to Titans fans. I thought he uh, did well on special teams at first to get a spot, but uh, I could be totally wrong, so I'll just shut up now. Uh, Gronkowski again, tight end for the Patriots, rookie roll call. Steve Largent, Legendary Contenders. They did say you should find five autographs in these boxes now, so I should hit two more uh, if that happens to hold true. You got, oh, this is another one of the, apparently you get one of these parallel in every box then. This one's numbered one of 99, and it's a foil uh, version of uh, Roddy White playoff tickets, so. If they are one per box, certain cards of that are going to be very difficult to hit then. We got another Mark Mariani. Rookie roll call. We got Aaron Hernandez, rookie contenders, rookie of the year contenders. Who is that? Jason Pierre Paul, Giants, defensive end rookie. Check out upcoming videos. I've got uh, National Treasures on the way. As soon as those release, I should have those uh, either on release date or the day after. Those are due out in about two weeks or so, maybe sooner, since it looks like they're posting pack out videos already. You got uh, Willie Brown, Super Bowl ticket. Colt McCoy, rookie roll call for the Browns. Oh, hell yeah! Tebow, rookie ticket, on card. Hell yeah! Nice. So, once again, hit one of the top rookies. Last pack. And we got Leroy Jordan, Super Bowl ticket. And Favre closing out a spectacular career. Even though he got himself in some kind of mess the last couple years, props to the guy for being one of the best ever. It was a hell of a career to witness, that's for damn sure. No matter what anybody says. So, we'll go back through those real quick. Um, hit the Tebow on card. Rookie ticket. You got a Jason Pierre Paul sticker auto. Um, Tony Maoki sticker auto. The this is the non card as well. Armani Edwards for the Panthers. And the first one was Chris Cook, cornerback for the Vikings. All right, guys. Like I said, uh, check me out again in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're looking for national treasures to show up, and uh, hope to see you then. Have a good one.